The opposition has come out in defense of their Senate whip Johnston Mudama, whose entrances at the recent court rally act women leaders. The court team says it will not be intimidated in exercising its mandate of criticizing the government. We want to believe that, uh, that the utterances of its leaders and the selective application of the law constitute a serious threat to the stability of the nation. Jubilee is driving Kenya to the edge. Let the authorities analyze our speeches, and I want to advise our colleagues from the Jubilee side that they should exercise their minds by directing their minds on what Mudama said and not how he said it. Daring the government to make true its threats and arrest Senator Mudama, the court team accuses Jubilee government of being partial in its war against graft. If court has no direction and they're just hecklers and making noise, why don't you make that use of that chance that, of heckling and then you do the good thing? Because if they're heckling, you're worse than off. Because teachers are on strike, you're blaming court that they're not doing anything about it. But as the opposition stands behind their fellow senator, the director of public prosecution has commissioned a multi-agency team comprising of CID, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, to investigate the utterances. The National Cohesion and Integration Commission has, however, under their mandate, found the Machako senator culpable of its speech and is set to recommend charges to the DPP. Reasonable grounds to conclude that certain offenses have been committed either under the National Cohesion and Integration Act and much more, much more importantly, under the Penal Code. The Integration Commission is urging leaders to mind their language in order to enhance national cohesion. Kevin Washira, Channel One Weekend.